Hey everyone, today we're diving into the fascinating world of cutting frozen tuna like it's wood. These fish are flash frozen at minus 40 degrees to preserve their freshness and flavor, creating a unique challenge for the workers. Let's check out the process. First off, we're talking about tuna that aren't too large, usually around 100 pounds each. Once caught, these tunas are immediately frozen solid, making them as hard as wood. The freezing process starts right on the fishing boats, where the tunas are stored in cold storage to quickly freeze them and lock in their nutrients and flavor. Once they reach the shore, the tunas are transferred to freezer trucks, forming a seamless supply chain from sea to table. The fishing expeditions last over two weeks, and before they dock, they coordinate with staff to ensure enough freezer trucks are ready for transport. The workers at these facilities are well compensated, earning over 10,000 yuan monthly with extensive insurance due to the harsh working conditions. The temperatures are freezing and there's a constant risk of illness or injury. The cutting process is intense. Frozen tuna can't be sliced by hand. They need powerful electric saws. Workers carefully push the fish onto the saws, but the icy surfaces make it slippery, increasing the risk of accidents. Because of these dangers, the workers are only allowed to work eight-hour shifts and overtime is strictly prohibited. Cutting frozen tuna is like cutting wood. The fish is solid and ice crystals are embedded in the flesh. Sometimes, blood can still be seen within the ice. The cutting tasks are divided among workers. Some handle the primary cuts into four large sections, while others trim the edges. Handling frozen tuna isn't easy, one slip could result in severe injury. The skinning process is somewhat safer, akin to peeling potatoes, which some workers find quite satisfying. The black spots are blood clots that must be meticulously removed to ensure the best taste and texture. Once the tuna is perfectly trimmed, it's cut into thin, even slices, ready for sashimi or grilling. Each piece must be identical in thickness, and any offguts are handled by other workers. These thin slices are then packaged in plastic, insulated with foam, and sealed to maintain their temperature until they reach Japanese restaurants, ready to be served. Despite many restaurants claiming to serve fresh tuna, most use this frozen variety. The difference in taste can be significant, but the quality of properly handled frozen tuna is undeniable. So, next time you're enjoying sushi, you might just be savoring the result of this intricate and demanding process. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you'd try cutting frozen tuna like wood.